OBS. I've never done nine plates each side for one. And I got 12. <laughs> oh. What's up guys and welcome. You're watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's start this video with Big Rami, the former two times Mr. Olympia champion. So a video of him is floating around on Instagram where he is pushing some really heavy weights doing the leg press. Now I have to tell you guys this isn't a recent update. It's not a video taken a few days ago, but it was taken a month ago. So Rami's strength has always been very very impressive. He has always been a very strong bodybuilder, but this is comparative bodybuilding we are talking about. So what's his fate as a comparative bodybuilder in the future? Is he gonna come back and compete at the Olympia in October? Is he gonna come back and attempt to take his title back? Is that even possible? Well, at this point nobody knows. The last time Big Wami was on the stage was at the Arnold Classic 2023, where he placed behind Samson Dauda, Nick Walker and Andrew Jack as well. And although he felt that that was one of the best looks of his entire bodybuilding career, the judges were pretty clear that they did not find that physique worthy of top 3. And you can argue that neither Nick Falker nor Andrew Jack were at their best at that show. Nick Falker had that discrepancy between his upper and lower half. And Andrew Jack wasn't in a rock solid kind of conditioning. But even then Big Rami wasn't able to beat these guys. Although majority of the bodybuilding community agrees on this, that Big Rami was so much more improved compared to the Olympia 2023. But according to the head judge Steve Weinberger, they did not find any significant improvements from the Olympia to the Arnold. But all that being said, Big Rami still wants to compete because he loves the process. He's a bodybuilder after all and he loves competing. And that was his stance up until 2023. So as a bodybuilder, Big Rami has already cemented his legacy as a Mr. Olympia champion not once but twice in his career. And we have seen some of the biggest names in the history of bodybuilding. Guys like Flex Wheeler, Kevin Lavroni, Sean Gray and so many others who weren't able to win the Sendow even once. So in that regards and in that aspect, Big Rami has got nothing left to prove. But looking at his package at the Arnold 2023 and the way he was able to improve in just a matter of few short months, the fans will be thrilled to see Big Rami compete in October. And of course that will do nothing but raise the stocks of the Olympia because he is one of the biggest names in the bodybuilding industry still. And he brings a lot of crowd and a lot of viewership, especially from Egypt. So as a former Mr. Olympia champion, he's qualified for life. If he wants to, he can do the Olympia. Come on, number one. Best in the world. Best in the world. Back to back, baby. Now, let's talk about the reigning Mr. Olympia, Darren Lansford, who will definitely be feeling some pressure here after his teammate Hadi Chopin smashed it at the Arnold Classic. Not just once, but twice in two weeks' time. And almost every bodybuilding commentator out there, including his coach Heidi Rambon agreed that this physique of Hadi Chopin would have won the Olympia last year hands down. And the fact that most of the bodybuilding experts had Hadi Chopin winning last year as well. This must be worrying some for Derek Lansford. And it isn't just Hadi Chopin that Derek needs to worry about now. There is another guy whose name is Nick Walker, who is gonna put everything on the line to possibly make one of the biggest comebacks of the last decade and try to win the Olympia. Also keep in mind that Samson Dauda will be aiming to bring his all-time best at the Olympia stage in October. So this time things are a lot different for Derek as everyone is going to be chasing him at the Olympia this time. Everyone is going to be gunning for Derek. So he has got to step it up and that is why skipping the Arnold Classic was a good decision for him even last year as well. Because he needs to bring more density in his chest and his shoulder region to make his physique a lot more complete and to silence his critics of course. And you bet that Derek Nansford isn't playing around. He's training extremely hard and heavy. Although it is the offseason, but he is in a phenomenal shape. And we are gonna see a glimpse of him in 8 weeks time at Pittsburgh Pro Guest Posing. And that is the place where everything started for Derek just 2 years ago. So as an Olympia champion, he's gonna show up in top notch shape. So it was extremely close between him and Hadi Chopin last year. But the judges preferred his physique over the Persian buff. So if Derek shows up improved, which I'm sure he will be, he is going to be extremely hard to beat. And keep in mind, he doesn't need to get bigger to retain the title. And the reason is his insane genetics and his shape. No one has that kind of X-frame and that kind of shape. The way his lats and his vacuum comes into play, that is second to none. The Mona Lisa of bodybuilding, Andrew Jack, is up next. He is back home, 
focusing on his weak points of his physique. So his hanging triceps are absolutely nuts. So considering the fact that he is doing Dubai Pro, which is gonna be happening in July, he looks really good for 18 weeks out of the show. And Andrew Jack most definitely is gonna be the favorite going into that show. And yes, I know Brennan Carey is also planning to compete in Dubai. And the reason I'm saying Andrew Jack is gonna be the favorite to win that show is because he wasn't even that good at the Olympia last year. Still, he was able to place fifth just behind Brendan Carey. So just imagine him showing up after a proper offseason. I truly believe that this time he can beat Brendan Carey. The ultimate goal is to get one step closer towards winning the Olympia title. Because that is the plan, that is the main goal. He isn't just looking to get into that first call out, or top 3 or even top 2. He's aiming to win the Olympia. So I don't think there was enough time for him to bring up his back and his armstrings up to a point. Where the judges can consider him a threat for the title this year. But you never know this is the first real offseason that he has had. Since he turned pro. And Andrew has made some incredible improvements in his physique. From the time he turned pro to his last competition that was the Olympia 2023 without getting any real off-season, while staying in the prep mode. So maybe this off-season will help him a lot. Maybe this can be the game changer. But I do believe that he needs an entire year to grow. So Andrew has the best shape and the best flow out of all these guys. No one can match him in that. Imagine him having the same size and thickness that Samson Dauda has, with those incredible lines and his insane aesthetics. I have to say he will be unstoppable. He is gonna be Mr. Olympia. The level of competition at the Olympia level has just gone way up, especially in the last couple of years. So Hunter Labrada's comparison video taken 10 weeks before his first Mr. Olympia in 2020 versus this recent one where he is roughly 3 or 4 months out of his next show because he's possibly gonna do Texas Pro or maybe even Tampa Pro. So this highlights what a complete bodybuilder he has become over the years. The level of density and the muscle maturity that he has now. Not to mention the insane muscularity that he has developed. The increase in the overall muscle mass, that is truly unbeatable. But all that being said, despite making all these insane improvements, Hunter Labrada is still only top 6 in the world. He was still top 6 last year. And the reason I'm using the world only is because he was 4th at the Olympia 2021. But since then, the level of competition has just gone way up. And we have to keep in mind, he was 6th when Nick Fokker and Big Rami were not there. But I have to say this video comparison is a great reply to everyone who keeps on saying that Hunter Lebrada has not been able to improve much ever since he came onto the pro scene because that is completely false. By the way, in his recent update, he weighs 292 pounds with striped loose and a clear Christmas tree. So that is an insane body composition for such a heavy body weight. And also keep in mind, this is the heaviest he has ever been in the offseason. This is the biggest and leanest he has ever looked. And it is gonna be really interesting how he shows up the next time at the Olympia stage. Because of course he's gonna qualify for the Olympia anyway. So do let me know what you guys think. Can he move up from 6th place? Or can he hold on to that 6th spot? Also hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.